hey there i'm sandeepa welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to uh, describe bain's theory bain's limit price theory of oligopoly so bain was an american economist he is known for his uh, books like uh, barriers to new competition Bain formulated his limit price theory in an article published in 1949 you can see it on the screen and uh, uh, which uh, later on he published barriers to new competition in uh, in 1956 okay so this is a very important uh, theory regarding the oligopoly and he coined a new concept uh, uh, according to which there is a threat of new entrants in the market he explained why firms over a long period of time were keeping their price at a level of demand uh, where the elasticity of demand was below unity okay the elasticity of demand is below unity the firms deliberately keep their price at a level where the elasticity of demand curve is below unity usse zyada pe wo nahi rakhte hain that is they did not charge the price which would maximize their revenue because in the earlier theories or in many um, theories you see that a firm aims to maximize its revenue or maximize its profit but bain said no there is another uh, important uh, aspect of uh, market system or operation the traditional theories did not include the threat of potential entry okay to bain ne develop kiya दो मॉडल ठीक है बेन डेवलप्ड टू मॉडल ऑफ ओलिगोपली मार्केट लेटर द लिमिट प्राइस थ्योरी वाज डेवलप्ड एंड इम्प्रूव्ड बाय साइलॉस लेबेनी मोदगलियानी एंड जगदीश भगवती आफ्टर दिस इफ वी इज कम टू द अजम्पन ओके इन दिस वीडियो वी विल रिस्ट्रिक्ट आवर सेल्फ टू द फर्स्ट मॉडल ऑफ बेन वी विल डिस्कस दैट इन आर शॉर्ट वाइल बट फर्स्ट वी हैव टू लुक एट द अजम्पन्स ऑफ दिस थ्योरी सो द फर्स्ट अजम्पन इज यू कैन सी देर इज अ डिटर्मिनेट लॉन्ग टर्म डिमांड कर फॉर इंडस्ट्री आउटपुट विच is unaffected by price adjustments of sellers or by entry so there is one long term demand curve one long term demand curve you can see here and this long term demand curve is unaffected by any entry or exit or anything second assumption is there is effective collusion among the established oligopolies so the uh the sellers which are existing in the market already they make collusion and the collusion is very strong the uh, among the firm which are already existing in the market of anything any commodity <coughs> now the third uh, assumption is the established firms can compute the limit price below which entry is not possible so these uh, already existing firms are big firms they have uh, managers they have uh, uh, staff efficient staff who can compute the exact limit price okay they are able to compute limit price because computing a, such a, a such a limit price uh, is not uh, very easy but they are efficient and they can do it okay the level of limit price uh, will depend on so there are certain uh, 
points factors which uh, which is going to affect our limit price number one is uh, a point a is estimation of cost of potential entrants number two on the market elasticity of demand on the shape and level of lac on the size of the market uh, there is a, an extra e cut it or ignore it on the number uh, of the firms in the industry okay after that so uh, the uh, next point is above limit price entry is attracted and there is uncertainty for the sales of established firms so if the firm is going to charge a price which is above that uh, computed limit price then there will be entry of the firms which will um, lower the sh market share of the existing firms so the firms will not uh, uh, intend to attract this uh, entry of the firms because this this phenomena will make the market very uncertain and the uh, and bain says that the firms want certain profit or certain revenue certain revenue okay they don't want uncertainty now next point is the established firms seek the maximization of their own long run profit so they are not just concerned about their profits but long run profit a profit which is certain a profit in which the fluctuations are minimal a profit which is sustained sustained profit so you saw some uh, some of the important uh, assumptions of the bain's limit price theory now we will come to the um, to his model the first model in which there is no collusion with the new entrants so i have already drawn this figure and this is model first on the x axis uh, or the horizontal axis you have quantities produced or quantities decided to be produced by the firms and on the vertical axis you have uh, mr curve ar curve that is demand curve price level lac that is long run average cost curve and marginal cost or long run marginal cost curve you have uh, demand curve d dash d d dash this is your demand curve and you have mr curve which is below the demand curve mr curve is your d uh, say put a point k dk is your mr curve now you uh, see that at om level opm opm price is charged at opm price oqm quantity is produced this is the monopoly price and the quantity produced is little now bain will uh, bain says that the uh, firm will charge uh, limit price and that will be at that uh, section of the demand curve which is at which elasticity is less than 1 so here uh, on this point you can see that the elasticity is equal to unity that means that uh, according to bains the firm will charge a price below this section below this 
पॉइंट से एम आई थिंक हाँ सो बिलो एम अ प्राइस विल बी सेट एनी वेयर बिटवीन से ई पी एल इज द लिमिट प्राइस सेट बाई दी फॉर्म्स एंड एट दिस प्राइस ओ क्यू एल क्वान्टिटी विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड ओ पी एल प्राइस एंड ओ क्यू एल क्वान्टिटी ऑफ द कमोडिटी विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड एट दिस पॉइंट एट ई पॉइंट डी एंड एल एस सी कर इज इंटरसेक्टिंग टू ईच अदर एंड एट दिस पॉइंट और एट ओ के लेवल ऑफ प्राइस ओ क्यू सी लेवल ऑफ प्रोडक्शन विल बी टेक प्लेस राइट दिस इज प्राइस and these two are production level and this is price level <coughs> so uh, you can see that a firm will charge a price at which his profit or revenue is certain this uh, profit may seem a greater uh, portion but this is uncertain because at if if the firm uh, is charging opm price it may attract uh, entry of new firms and all this profit level or revenue level may vanish but this level of profit is certain so the firm will stick to the uh, opl price i hope you have understood and uh, remind the assumption which uh, said that our limit price will be affected by so many factors like uh, lac demand curve elasticity uh, mr curve all these have been met here so i hope this video is useful for you guys uh, i will uh, discuss the another model of this uh, uh, of bain's uh, limit price theory in a next or another video thank you so much do subscribe and share my channel if you like my video